is like a minute plus of it loading. Like it, that was a load into a load. And then it's gonna to get to the main menu. Well, eventually it's loading again. That's the third loading screen. I might keep in the loading process just so you can see it. Third loading. Then there's an auto saving because you booted it up and it needs to remind itself that you did that. And we're going to click historic tour and it's. I'm playing Doom and it circles. Oh, it loads again <laughs> if you go back and auto saves again because you went out and in. It's just very inefficient. <laughs> very inefficient. So you can see I've got the Paul Smart bike here, which I probably didn't have last session uh, as like the last bike I on the recordings, because I was just fucking around off screen, like, oh yeah, I'll just do some stuff. I didn't really, didn't, wasn't really planning on doing much, you know, like, um, you know, I thought, oh, you know what, like, yeah. to be honest, it's going to be like six, seven hours of content where it's literally just me going, per -per -derp, here's me driving bikes, it's, it, you know, after a while, you can see it's 13, 13, 14, 10, and like, there's so many other things we can do here. I barely even started the top end because I was trying to like focus on the low end first and I kind of even spread it actually. I really like the bottom mirror though. Um, there's a little peep, say, uh, 90s. Now there's Championship C and you get more things for the championship. For some reason I'm kind of like being a bit eesh about doing them, but I mean, B category, this has to be the monster. Uh, this has to be anything you want from B. I mean, let's just do the monster one. So I gotta do them eventually. Oh, but I have to look at the yellow bike. Eh, yeah, fuck it, it doesn't matter, does it? Now it has to save and load. I do like these. Racing Simulator Rock Lick 101. Oh, those textures had to pop in there. Just hope the levels aren't too high because I haven't checked this. I hope it doesn't overwhelm my vocals, my vocals, my box, my vocals, whatever. change it now. So you're just gonna have to deal with the shit sound if it's shit because this engine's pretty loud. Hey man, it's more about the experience. Out of the way, ho bags. Ah me hitting them knocked me off balance is their fault. Friggin' Schmidt. Schmidt. Kobayashi. Ah. Oh, I'm being wrecked. Go away, Kobayashi. I want to win. Someone say, I'm not allowed to murder him. <laughs> I'll cheat. Cheaters always win and always prosper. I do like the monster as it's like to drive in this game. 
I would probably also like to drive one in the real world, but I am a poor, poor boy. Hopefully that'll change relatively soon. It's supposed to be going back to work soon over here. Uh, the schools remain closed way longer in this province than any other province, basically, but also... Um, uh, just way longer than the rest of the businesses. Everyone else, like the kids are playing in the street with no masks on and like they're running around. And old men are still coughing and spluttering and hawking spit every couple of steps into the street. You're thinking, oh, well, that will show COVID. <laughs> you, know, you know, the reason they still get TB cases in China is because they can't encourage the Chinese enough to stop spitting all of the time in the streets. A lot of my more germ-phobic friends come home after work and have to scrub the soles of their shoes. Because they're like, normally I walk down the pavement in my country and I think, oh, it's relatively clean, it's fine. But like, you can just see spit marks everywhere. And I drag them out into my house. So they scrub their soles of their shoes every couple of days or every day. Me, it's more like every week or every month depending on how much I've been using the shoes. But mine are boots, so I have to do that really anyway to try and keep the uh, keep them in shape, you know, while I'm polishing them, I might as well clean the soles. Why am I talking about shoes? So what video games have we been playing? So the reason that there hasn't been much LPing going on lately on the channel and just the dumb pigeon game is because I was just trying to get good off camera on a lot of stuff I wanted to LP and I kind of dropped and kind of didn't come back to for a while. Okami is obviously like pretty fine. I just haven't played it for a while and I'm going to do a few sessions later sometime when I have time. Um, <clears throat> but I'm talking about Doom. I have actually beaten Doom Eternal on Ultra Violence now, off screen. Although that was fucking hard, those bosses. The bosses were what got me. And Final Sin, one encounter and Final Sin. Like the big one where you're on like, like multi-tiered, uh, multi-level, um, tower block and there's like load of tyrants and there's like arachnotrons everywhere but then really not the main problem is the fact that the marauder keeps reappearing and like uh his arc files and all sorts of bullshit and you're just like oh old lordy lords to be honest that was probably the hardest encounter for me aside from the weird taras nabad uh encounter with the marauder later in the map where you're in this really weird, quite small, it's right near the Titan where you retrieve the Crucible Hill. Um, and it's just real, like, strange map that you're locked into and the Marauders, and there's not really enough straight lines for you to, like, get him to do his move and you have a clear line of sight and, like, a good shot on him the whole time. And, you know, the only two weapons I find that work against the Marauder actually are the uh, Arbalest? I always call it the wrong thing. The Gorse Cannon replacement and the uh, Sawn Off Shotgun, the Super Shotgun. So, everything else he seems to kind of deflect or it just doesn't do enough damage because it's a multi hit weapon and you'll start shielding after the first couple of hits and you really want him to stagger so you can get a few more hits in on him. So there's that. Uh, those are really the two hardest normal encounters I had. And actually, like, I had more trouble with uh, that area with the squishes in, um, is it Necrovol? Necrovol, maybe. Yeah, one of the Necrovols. Or maybe, it, yeah, I think it's Necrovol. I won! Yeah, I had more trouble there on the recorded Hurt Me Plen Plenty run the first time 
than I did when I did it off screen on ultraviolence. And that actually happened a lot. Certain encounters were really easy on ultraviolence, and I was like, oh shit, this is really hard. I was thinking, going in, nah, 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 this was really hard on Hurt Me Plenty, it's going to be really hard now. And it was a piece of piss, and I was like, oh. Oh, and all the Slayer challenges, I was just like, oh, easy. Barely, like, I don't think I failed one. I kept getting to low health and was like, shit, 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 and was just running around trying to find things to, like, you know, some fodder. But because there's so many enemies in a small area in the Slayer challenges, there's always a fodder enemy or seven that you can just farm for ammo or armor or, like, you know, health or blood punch. So it's actually not that bad, it's when you're literally fighting a single enemy like Marauder or the Arc Vile who can, like, Ultra Violence, you might as well reload the checkpoint if you let him summon. If the Arc Vile summons, end of playthrough, forget it, just re reload, because he, he brings in a lot of dudes, <laughs> like, and he brings in heavy dudes, he doesn't just bring in a fuck ton of imps, he'll bring in, like, all of them, Keiko, Keikos, Kakos, Keikos, mmm, Keiko, um, and, uh, Pain Elementals, all sorts of shit, and, like, Hell Knight's chasing your asshole down, and you're just like, oh, well, that's, that's this LP done, so, uh, all this session, so there's that. I'm also, I've got two saves running on Doom 2016. One of them's the LP save on Ultraviolence. And the other one's, uh, I just want to play this and try and remember how to do 2016 and stop trying to dash, because dash is crouch <laughs> in 2016, and just try and get back into the mentality. And I was doing pretty well on Ultraviolence off screen for 2016 until I hit my first the Kadinga uh, Sanctum, uh, which is the first hell level, and the final encounter really fucked me, and I was like, what, 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 and you really got to save that quad damage at the end of that one, just for the barons of hell, otherwise you ain't gonna fucking kill them fast enough, and they wreck on that level, uh, on that difficulty, so I was like, oh, okay, uh, I'll come back to that, I did that level in the end. Yeah, no, I did that level, uh, actually, after several attempts. And then I, you go back to the Argent facility when it's destroyed. Or is it Argent facility? What, one part of the UAC where it's destroyed after going through it the first time, because Hell's Return and yada yada. Um, and it's alright. Uh, I was doing fine on that level until I reached the pinkies, it was about 11.53 p.m. Uh, yeah, PM. And I was getting tired, and I was like, I killed two of the pinkies in the pinky introduction hallway before you get on the tram in 2016. And then two more pinkies spawn, and I'm like, so tired, I was just like, fuck, I thought I killed you, you know, it was just like, oh, I need to go to bed, <laughs> you know. And that was where I left it, and then I was just like, I don't think I'm equipped with enough upgrades to deal with this right now, or maybe I was just sleep deprived, or just tired after spending like four hours playing the same fucking Doom. Um, so, you know, I went back and looked at some of the old missions. To be honest, all of the items and secrets that actually give you loads of useful things like weapon points and stuff, uh... I got the majority, I got all the Praetor Suit tokens and all the field drones, and like, I missed one room trial in the Kadinga um, level, and I was just like, oh, no, I'm barely missing anything if I'm honest, like, the, the shit I'm missing is like, gonna give me, net me, if I redo the four or so, like, missions, it will net me about four combat tokens to upgrade a weapon, and it's like, a lot of my weapons that I want to upgrade, they need six, because it's all rocket launcher and gauss cannon now, second upgrades and shit. And I'm just like, oh, I could really do with those. But four's not enough, and it's going to be like hours of me working to get those four other than the mark, and I've, 
went back and redid some of them to get them, and I did some mastery challenges and got quite a lot of the weapon mods I have already pretty up there, like uh, heavy assault rifles, um, micro missiles, and the uh, the shotguns, explosive shot, are both fully upgraded now already, and we haven't even really hit them. What was that mission like six or seven? I don't know. I've got the wheel up there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just basically trying to get good off screen because it's been a while for 2016. I wasn't really planning on doing anything else with Eternal right now until the DLC comes out, but I thought, you know what, off screen I'm going to prove to myself I can do an ultra violence. And I can. Can't make a fucking fight is the hardest fight in the game by miles. The icon of sim is way easier, I found. Because they just give you a load of shit to go hog wild with. You've got your crucible pretty much permanently full. Two blood punches always fucking charge because there's just pickups everywhere for it. Um, BFG ammo is pretty like okay to be honest. Um, and it's, you know, it's a pretty fun end ending fight, actually. I really enjoyed that. Can't make a fight I just don't enjoy. Even replaying it, and I need to record the replay on Hurt Me Plenty, at least, to show because I lost that footage and I never put it up. It's just, even with me reinstalling the game, uh, because I, was, I felt like I was missing audio files and stuff, it's a pretty pretty much like a fairly empty soundscape when you're fighting the car maker and it's it's just kind of boring and not a really it's challenging in a way where it's just like it's not a fun challenge you know whereas the icon of sin is like yeah this is challenging me to go fucking crazy and chainsaw and stab everything and go nuts and fire bfg ammo is like a big man who loves belt fed machine guns yeah fucking metal as fuck. The can make a fight is just shoot her until she get, falls into a stun state, then you have a tiny window to meat hook and blood punch her. R rinse and repeat for six health bars, and just headshot all of her little minions for lots of ammo and health. But they'll kind of float around and keep ducking and it's really annoying. But it's doable, it's just finicky, it's not the same, you know, it's not the same kind of feeling of yeah, I'm feeling really pumped. It's just, uh, <laughs> like, you know, it's just hard and finicky and annoying and frustrating. And her attacks do way too much damage. Feels like they do the same damage in Hurt Me Plenty and uh, Ultra Violence because my health was just getting wrecked in both cases. But, you know, uh, this is pretty. I'm not really doing so I think I've got one more race on there. Yeah. Wing 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 wing. Weird that it kicks you out to the main menu. You know, it kicks you out to the main menu to load up the next thing. They're not loaded like a championship in say Forza or Gran Turismo are, where it's just race, load, race. It's like race, boot you out, load up the menu, load up. You know, because you can hear the menu music and then it's like, load up the next thing, you know, it's like, there's these extra loads everywhere. Or it feels like it. This is quite an old game though, I guess. It's like, four years old now. 2016 this came out. It hasn't aged as well as Doom. <laughs> so yeah, what else have I been doing? I've been doing a lot of Street Fighter Alpha 3. 
because I was trying, I originally started this YouTube channel to try and get good at fighting games and character action games, and then I just kind of started an RE2 playthrough, and then I was like, hey man, <laughs> and then just got sidetracked fucking crazy. And now we're at the point where I'm playing pigeon dating simulators and critiquing biker mice episodes, so, you know, we got we got to a weird place in our fucking, in our Alpine career real early, kind of huge fucking filler arc here, but, um, yeah, off screen I'm trying to learn Alpha 3 Cigar, because I never played the Alpha series. I played Third Strike a bunch. I played two a tiny bit, and when I mean two, I mean the HD remix. <laughs> the new art, and uh, I'm bad at that game. But I don't know why I'm so bad at two, but I am a catastrophic at two. I talked about this before when I was playing it. I, uh, wah, wah. Thompson! Clone Wars is the start now. Ooh, there's Thompson. That might have been my fault for, like, undertaking him. Ah, oh, he got his revenge, though, so fuck him. Thompson is angry with my two win streak, and he's now trying to have me murdered. Hey, he's one of those wavy arm mans. Uh. Fuck this up, I think. Can I, can I get it back? If I podium or get a fairly high rank, it won't fuck up the entire thing, but last, first, first, last is not good. First two were a keek walk, and this is more like a treacle walk. Or a pineapple upside down walk. Still a type of keek thing. And I used to love that cake. I used to really love, this is a really weird thing, but we're going to talk about desserts now. I kind of got sidetracked again. <laughs> You know the British are kind of known for having really fucking weird desserts like spotted dick and tapioca and uh, bread and butter pudding and stuff like that. Um, treacle tart. The only reason I ever tried treacle tart was because it was the... If you read the Harry Potter books, it's like the one that Harry always eats. And I was like, why does he keep talking about the treacle tart? So I was so used to him talking about the treacle tart that I was like, you know, I'm going to try treacle tart. And like, it's actually pretty good. But like, um, I was always a big fan of like tarts in general, like fruit tarts and pies, which is more of an American thing, like key lime and that. And I got really big into New York style cheesecakes for a while. Yeah, I'm just talking about desserts. Oh shit, this is what happens now. <laughs> Slides backwards on my asshole. This is why you don't talk about desserts. Yeah, and like, uh, I know a lot of, like, one of my friends is a big fan of profiteroles, but I always thought they were a bit too, like, air and puff and cream. It's a bit too much. Of nothing for me personally. But, um, yeah, a lot of fucking good cakes from Europe, man. French, Italians, they all know how to do good desserts, and yeah, all of the British ones are the really stodgy, covered in custard and tree pool heavy sponges and stuff that are often warmed up a lot of crumbles and stuff like that uh, very weird I know but like pretty like nice stuff to have on a winter evening or a late autumn evening <laughs> the fuck am 
I talking about? <laughs> so we get back on track, but I was talking about Alpha. I always liked Alpha. I never played Alpha. Because I was a, around the time Alpha came out, I think I was one. <laughs> like, you know, to put it in, like, context. I was about five when Street Fighter 3 came out. I didn't even know what a Street Fighter was. I didn't know fighting games until I bought Tekken Tag Tournament really late in the PlayStation life cycle. I was like, oh, cool, this is kind of neat for when friends come around. Uh, yeah, I had a multi tab and everything. Um, yeah. Yeah. And the Tekken, big Tekken fan, and then everyone was like, hey, do you. Yeah, my first actual, my first Street Fighter encounter was Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Uh, oh, Street Fighter 2. But I was just like, ah, oh, this is Street Fighter. Okay. And then I moved on and was like, oh, is this it? Kind of thing. And I was kind of disappointed. I don't know what I was expecting because I played Streets of Rage. And I think I thought Street Fighter might be more like a beat em. Uh, I like I was in a total vacuum. None of my friends play fighting games. I don't know what I was expecting, but everyone was like, "Yeah, Street Fighter is coming to Xbox Live Arcade. You've got to get it. Turbo HD Remix, man." Oh yeah, and all of the magazines were going nuts. You guys love, and I was like, um, "Okay, yeah, let's see what this is about." Can't not know it. Apparently, all the kids are talking about this game that's very old. And first. Even though, yeah, overall at first, I want to see what I did on. Is that weird? It didn't tell me my result for this race. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Fine. That's a weird order, though. I thought it'd be race and championship, not championship and race. I got beaten by Sem de Groot. He is Groot. So yeah, I always thought Alpha was nice, but never got my hands on a copy of Alpha. Because it's not one of... For some reason, Alpha didn't have many ports to console in the past recent years. Third Strike did, and I was like, okay, I'll play Third Strike. That was really fun. I played a lot of 4, I played a little bit of 5. Uh, came at it in a really weird, awkward kind of angle, I know. The other championship would be a different category. 